Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the refills, uh, different options that you have. Um, for the, uh, the shaker, there's not a whole lot of options uh, as far as modifications go. Uh, for, um, for the mover though, there's a whole, whole lot of different things. Uh, you know, the shaker, all those are the exact same. For the mover, there's a bunch of different things that, that uh, there are options for, but you sort of have to do some modifications on. Uh, things like the, uh, the Mont Blanc, can you get in close on that one? So there's the Mont Blanc, uh, this is the fine liner, they also do some rollerball ones. They're great. There's just this weird thing that uh, they have sort of a hollow cavity in the back, and you have to fill that in. And you can do it one of a couple different ways. This one, you can, uh, you might be able to see, uh, it's got some aluminum foil that's balled up in it. This is actually the thing that I sort of tell people to do, just because it's easy. Uh, currently I'm using some uh, Reynolds Heavy Duty Wrap. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of aluminum foil it is. I actually find that the, the non-heavy duty stuff is the easiest stuff to ball up and put in there. The whole goal of that is, uh, I just put some marks on myself. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the whole goal of that is to get the right length. Um, the, uh, the mechanism that I use, just move this out of the way so you can see the mechanism. So the mechanism has, uh, this is you know the push part, this is uh, the part that actually touches the refill. Because that's a fairly small thing, it sort of fits in that cavity. So you just basically fill in that cavity. Um, so the overall length is what matters. There are a few refills like the, uh, the Pilot Signal RT and RT1. I really like the RT1 a lot. Uh, it's, a, it's a great refill. Um, it's a little bit better than the RT if you tried that, but anyway, I could talk about that for a while. But anyway, uh, so basically the, uh, the Signal RT1 and RT, they're about 30 thousandths of an inch too far, 3 tenths of an inch, uh, non-machinist terms. Uh, so basically, uh, you just have to cut off a tiny little piece of them. Uh, where did that go? There it is. Uh, so basically, I just use an X-Acto knife and uh, you know, you get it on a nice stable surface and you just cut it off. It's nothing big. Um, and then they fit in any pen that you want. Um, there's stuff like the or the, uh, the Uniball Jetstream that has much the same. Uh, I think that one's actually a little bit longer than these. Um, but basically, you're, you're trying to make it so that they have the exact the same length as the Pilot G2. Um, so the Pilot G2 is uh, 4.36. Uh, inches, the, uh, the RT1 is 30 thousandths longer than that, so you just cut off a little bit. Um, and same thing goes for all of these, you know, there, there's several, uh, there's this uh, cross, uh, there's a porous point and a, a gel refill um, that you do the exact same thing as the Mont Blanc. Uh, you just stuff in a little bit of aluminum foil. Sometimes they look a little different, but um, they end up being much the same. So, anyway, um, Hopefully that clears up some, some of the questions you guys had about uh, that. Sorry, it's kind of hot today. It's, uh, it's August in uh, Texas, so it's 100 degrees outside. It's probably about 110 here in the shop without fans on for the camera. Um, anyway, hopefully that clears things up and uh, makes it uh, easy so that you can modify your mover pin to put whatever refill you want in there. Thanks, guys.